Hi guys, Heather Divine Guidance Tarot, back at you with another pick a deck. This time it's who's in love with you. Okay, so we have six piles here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we're going to get, and I have a clarifying deck. I just moved over, so we're going to get started. Pause the video if you need more time. All right, so if you chose the clear quartz, you're up. Who is in love with you? As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. We have relaxation. Celebrations. The Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Pentacles, Joy, you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit that is fun in all you do. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sacral Chakra. The Nine of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Eduana, the High Priestess. I am one with my soul. My soul is a legacy of love. Investigate. Look closely. Ask questions. Think before acting. The King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Death, more Scorpio energy coming through. The Maban, Shining, Hope, and Future. Sorrow. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. I will come back for you. Hey, so I have a song in my head for you. It's Heaven on Earth <laughs> by um, Belinda Carlisle. It's Heaven on Earth by Belinda Carlisle. And it's like, um, baby, do you know what that's worth? Oh, heaven is a place on earth. They say, baby, love comes first. Oh, heaven is a place on earth. That song. It's from the 80s. <laughs> so this person thinks you are literally heaven on earth. Okay, this person is so sad. Okay, this is definitely an ex. Okay, possibly someone you married or were married to or in a long-term commitment with. You might have even had children with this person. Okay, um, and their love for you has reawakened. Okay, they this the um, they definitely are um, wanting to bring your relationship um, back into their reality. Okay, with the death card, I think you cut the cord with this person because if you can see. It, or you almost cut it. You almost cut the cord all the way. You're almost there. You're kind of looking down at this cat. So I feel like maybe you might be having some doubts, okay, with all this fog around. And you have two options. You have a door that's closed and a door that's open. And you're pointing more towards the door that's opened. You're walking away. I feel like this person shut the door on you, okay? They shut the door on your relationship. They shut the door on you, Um they didn't see you in their future, okay? They didn't want to be with you. They didn't see you in your future. They might have even told you that, like, they didn't want to be with you anymore, okay? But this person is, is, is um, they might even be having you investigated. Definitely feeling an ex, ex-marriage with children. If that's not true for you, um, then this probably isn't your pile. I would suggest picking a different pile. Okay. Cause this was definitely a long-term relationship that possibly had children involved in it. 
Okay. And, and definitely like a divorce, but this person is, is, I feel like they're, they, they might even have a private investigator. I feel like you left, you might've taken their children with you and left, or you might've just disappeared. They might not have a way to get in touch with you. You just disappeared from their life. But they are so in love with you. They want, they want things to be different than they were. They want things to be different than they were. Okay, they want to fix it. They want to fix it. That's what I keep hearing in my head is they want to fix it. The person that's in love with you is someone that you were with in the past for long term, could possibly have children with. But they're trying to find you. They're trying to find you. You might have been abused. This might have been an abuse situation. Okay, emotionally, verbally. Um, physically, I feel like there was a lot of fighting, a lot of dissatisfaction, but this person wants to come back to you and they are going to do their damnedest to find you. Okay. They're, they're trying to find you. They want to come back to you. Okay. Yeah. See, exactly. You have the five of swords and the eight of cups. The Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person, I feel like you had to walk on eggshells around this person. This person had a temper. This person had a temper. They were just an angry person. You might, They might not have had the same beliefs as you, but they do think that you are their person with the chariot here. That's Cancer energy. They feel like you are their, you're theirs. That's what I'm hearing. You're mine. You're mine. You're mine. You're mine. I'm coming back for you. You're mine. 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 The three of cups. So that came out in reverse. So if they were with somebody else, if they left you for somebody else, they're done. They're done with the person they left you for. Okay. There's the children. I said there might be children involved. They're done with the person they left you for and they want to come back. I feel like this person came into some money. Okay, and there's the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person loves you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They have a newfound love for you. Okay, um, it's like they realized what they did wrong, and they miss you. And they want you to, to come home. I'm hearing, come home. Come home, come home, come home. And actually, I forgot to grab my cards. Hold on. They want you to come home. Okay. They want you to come home. They want you to come home. I just keep hearing and they're going to try and find you. So let's see what they have to say to you. Any messages that's going to come through from this person. Okay. Press rewind. See, they want to go back. I dream of you. My past is coming back to haunt me. We are too different in reverse, and you are my person. They want you back. Whatever differences you had with this person, they don't want there to be any differences anymore, and they want to come back to you. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below, and we will get you set up. All right, guys, love and light. You chose this one. This person feels like you're an ocean. I'm hearing you're an ocean of secrets. This person wants to know your secrets. The person that's in love with you wants to know your secrets. You're an ocean of secrets to them. They want to know all of your secrets. Okay. All right, so as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. Sincere relationships. Discernment. The Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. 
the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Teach. The Five of Swords. Or the Four of Swords. No, is it the Five? No, it's the Four. It's the Four of Swords. Sorry. Four of Swords. Or is it the Five? No, it's four. Okay, it's four. <laughs> King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pope Joan, the Pontiff of Possibilities. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. We're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. The Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Eight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. She Who Laughs, Humor, Perspective, and Mirth. Universal Heart. I'm, I was reminded of your scent recently. I've thought a lot about you lately. Um, okay, so um, I have another 80s song in my head. <laughs> another 80s song. The first one got an 80s song in my head too. Um, <laughs> that's funny. It's um, Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. And um, it's like a uh, Flashback. It's like flashback. I don't I don't really know the lyrics. Let me try and listen. It's like time after sometimes you picture me. I'm walking too far ahead. No more holding. You're calling to me. I can't hear what you've said. Okay. So you guys might have a telepathic connection, okay? And you might have said that to this person, okay? You guys might have a telepathic connection to this person and you told them, but they did not believe you. They laughed at you. They thought you were crazy. They did not think that this was true. You might've even told this person you'd wait for them. I feel like this person was a player. This person was a player, okay? They um, they had multiple options. The person that's in love with you had a hard time expressing their emotions, and so they would stamp them down. They did not want anybody to see them as weak, okay? They did not want anybody to see them as weak. They did not want anybody to see them as crazy. This is not a spiritual person, and I feel like you are. You are a spiritual person. You probably believe in fairies, fairy tales, mermaids. You're a very dreamy energy. I also feel as though you write. You write. You might, um, you write, you teach. You're a teacher. You could be a real teacher or you could just be uh, energy that teaches others. Okay. Um, but I'm getting a very angelic feel here. Okay, um, like you might even have access to the Kashuk records. I feel like this person, when they smell roses or see roses, I'm getting roses, like flowers. When they smell flowers, they think of you. Maybe you, I'm, I, I'm hearing flower balm. Maybe flower balm is your favorite perfume and they smelled it, but it wasn't coming from you and they were reminded of you. Okay, this person has very intense feelings for you and they watch you a lot. They are constantly watching you. They might have like really pretty, they might have different colored eyes. I'm seeing blue. Like they might have really beautiful blue eyes or you could have really beautiful blue eyes. But there's something about eyes here. When they connect with you, when, when their eyes, when your eyes meet, it's like time stands still. 
I'm hearing time stands still when they look into your eyes. They see everything in your eyes. This person feels a connection with you that they've never felt before. Or when they did feel it, they stamped it down. They called you crazy. This is probably my twin flame pile. Okay, this is probably my twin flamers, higher level soulmates. That's probably this um, sort of an energy. Okay, where you were telling this person you were meant to be together. It's destined. It's divine. It's this. It's that. You're the, they're the other half of your soul. Blah, blah, blah. And they did not believe in things of that nature. Or they did not want to. Okay, this is they did not want to seem crazy. So they might have deflected their feelings onto you. Oh, she's crazy. She's obsessed with me. She's obsessed. It's fucking weird. This she's doing magic on me to make me feel this way. How weird. They just made you feel ashamed of your gifts, of your knowledge. Okay. But they love you now. They feel this connection with you now. Six of Wands, they stabbed themselves in their victory of hurting you. They hurt themselves. Fire energy, <clears throat> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, judgment. This person, like I said, they heavily judged you. Okay, they heavily judged your beliefs. They have heavily judged your your intuition. Okay, but they are very broken hearted right now because you're not single. Okay, the Three of Swords, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the Nine of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You are not single. You are with somebody else. They see you with somebody else. They see that you have decided to put an end to this situation. You've put an end to this relationship. You've walked away and they can't get back in. You've closed the door on this. They think that you have closed the door on this. Scorpio energy coming through, more Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You've closed the door on this person. You've locked them, and they feel bound to you now. Like I said, I feel like this is my twin flamers. I feel like you are really obsessed with this relationship. I don't feel like this is ever really a relationship, but I feel like this was like an obsession on your end. And now that you've cut the cord and let go, the obsession is coming back. But to this person. This person is now starting to feel everything you were feeling. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if this person comes back and starts harassing you. You were right. You were right. I'm hearing you were right. You were right. You were right. You're my person. You were right. You were right. You were right. They want to come back and tell you that you were right. Okay. Um, but they're being stubborn. They're being very stubborn about it. They want to be right. They want to be right. They want to be right. Okay. Um, but I do feel like they, they are coming back. Okay, let's see. The person that loves you is coming back. This is, let's get some messages from them. That's, that's like a shit ton too many. I'm hearing something in my head about um, kissing. Maybe you might have kissed this person. You might not have even had sex with this person. You just might have kissed them or they remember your kiss. They remember a kiss you had. I'm seeing outside when it was cold. Maybe it was really cold when you kissed this person and you were outside kissing. It was like, it wasn't, and it was like a secret. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why I feel that. Okay, we got these. You make me feel ashamed. Go away in reverse, and I'm not your person in reverse. Okay, so this, like I said, this person knows they're your person now, and they don't want you to go away. They feel ashamed for how they treated you. You are so beautiful. You scare me. They're scared of this connection, like I said. You've turned the tables and I'm hurt. Yeah. So they're, they're, like I said, everything that you were feeling for this person, they're feeling for you now. You've turned the tables. Um, I have another song in my head now. Um, it's like, you've turned the tide on me because you're so unkind. 
Now you've turned the tide on me, cause you're so unkind. I will always be here for the rest of my life. I think it's Breaking Benjamin. I think it's Breaking Benjamin. Um, let me see. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. I'm going to look it up really quickly. Um, sorry, guys. Um, but I really want to get you. What lies beneath. Okay, it is Breaking Benjamin, but it's What Lies Beneath, okay? All right, guys, if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below, and we will get you set up. All right, so if you chose this one, this person feels broken. This person is, 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 is rough. This is a rough energy, gruff, like gruff, um, very masculine. They might have like a deeper voice or like an unusual voice, but this person is like a, a diamond in the rough. This person is like, um, it's like, It's like they're not traditionally pretty or traditionally handsome. They have self-esteem issues. This person has low self-esteem. Okay. All right. So as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. And I just got an image in my head of like a long table and like maybe like a cafeteria. Maybe you work with this person and you see them at lunch or something. It's like a, a long table, maybe maybe even in a park, like at a birthday party. I'm just seeing a really long table with food. I don't know. Maybe that means something to somebody. All right, we have well-being. Shame. See, low self-esteem, I told you. Six of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Four of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Creativity. Peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. Spread your wings. You guys might see 222 a lot or 666. You have the star, Aquarius energy coming through. The two of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Khadijia, the mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. Judgment, Capricorn energy. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Fool, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Vulva, Prophecy, Guidance, and Direction. It all comes down to timing. I still love you. I feel like that this person might be a different religion than you. Okay, this person might be a different religion than you. This person is, is not walking their path. Okay, this person feels ashamed. This that this person is a spiritual person and they were not they are not fulfilling their soul contract with you. They don't believe in it. They don't believe in soul contracts. They don't believe in twin flames. They don't believe in soulmates. They don't believe in karmics. They don't believe the same as you. They have the same gifts as you, the same talents as you. You guys might be singers, um, 
artists, um, you guys might be, you, I feel like you guys have a sincere faith in God. Okay. You're, you're, you might get visions. You might hear things. You might be clairaudient, um, or clairvoyant. You, you're a clair. Okay. You have some connection to the other side. You might even be a medium. You might even speak to the other side. And I feel as though you're very open about it. Okay. And you, even though you're very open about your spirituality, you're also a very grounded person. Okay. You're also a very grounded person. Um, you're very, very um, stable and loved. Um, you're loved by the divine. Um, um, you're very calm. You're very stable. You're very steady. You're, you're, you're a fighter. I have, um, the resistance by skillet in my head. It's like, it's that song, um, the resist, the resistance by skillet. Um, but you're very resilient. You're very resilient. And this person is resistant. Like I said, they're resisting. They're, they're refusing this connection. They, they, they're refusing it. They're in love with you, but they are refusing to tell you they're refusing to come to you. It's like, this is how we rise up. It's a resistance. You can't resist this. Um, they can't, they're not going to be able to resist this. Okay. They are coming back. Okay, the person that you, you felt is never coming back to you is coming back. Okay, but they are still very resistant to it. They don't want to listen to their higher selves. They don't want to listen to God. They don't want to be, they don't want to be controlled. They don't want to be told what to do. They do not want to be told what to do, when to do it. Okay, and while they do love you, they want it to go their way. This is very stubborn energy, very Capricorn energy, four of wands. They know who you are. If you believe in twin flames, this person believes in twin flames. If you believe in soulmates, this person believes in soulmates. If you're psychic, this person is psychic. But they don't want to be. Four of swords and the tower. They're awake, but they don't want to be. They're trying to go back to sleep. They're trying to go back to sleep, and the universe is not allowing it. The universe is towering their ass with signs about you. Yep. They're very depressed. Okay? They're feeling very ashamed and very judged. They do not want to be judged. There's a star again. Aquarius, Leo. Um, coming through Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They will though. They have to. The universe is going to make them believe. They are going to make them believe. They are going to make them come forward. They're going to make them do what they are supposed to do, or they're going to be towered forever. If they don't do, I'm hearing in my head, if they don't do what they're supposed to do, if they keep resisting their path, the universe is going to force them to walk it. And if they won't walk it, they're not ever going to have a good life. The universe will just keep throwing shit their way until they finally get the fucking point. Ouch. All right. Let's get some messages from them to you. Forever. Like I said, this person is going to be tortured forever. We are destined. I forgive you in reverse. I'm scared of what people will think. Will think. I feel unloved. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, this person is awake, but they don't want to be. They don't want to be on this path, and the universe is forcing them. They're forcing them. They're forcing them. Oof. And if they don't do what they're supposed to do, they're going to get punished. The universe is going to punish them forever. Oof. I'm hearing hollow. Love left me hollow. I'm with you in the end. Cold, crippled, and shallow. Don't leave me here again. Yeah. Hollow by Breaking Benjamin is in my head. All right, guys, if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. If you chose this one, all right, what I'm feeling here is a very heart-based love. This is someone very sensitive. 
Okay, this they might have money. This person has money. This person is rich or has money that they they want to spend on you. They want to give you things. They want to buy you things. This person wants to buy you things. They want to buy you. The person that loves you want, thinks that they can buy your love. They think that they can buy your love. This person is rich. They can give you things that you want monetarily, okay? But I feel like it's just they, they, they don't, they, you're like a prize. You're like a trophy wife. You guys are very beautiful, and they feel like you would look good on their arm. They might be older than you, okay? But they have money, and they want to buy you things. They think that you can, they can buy you love. Okay, buy your love. So as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. All right, so we have compassion. Insecurity. The Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo acceptance you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life detach you guys might see 11 11 a lot the page of wands the prince of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo Sekhmet, the red lady i am pure, i am pure strength i honor my anger by giving voice to it mortality 42 hi grandpa life is brief bright beautiful and yours to live the devil capricorn energy coming through the eight of cups cancer pisces scorpio the seven of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo the fairy norn planning patience and cooperation inner child a lot of signs are pointing to you lately. Seeing you reminds me of things I know deep down, and that's not always easy to deal with. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Careless Whisper in my head by Seether. Careless Whisper. Um, um, it's like Careless Whisper by Seether. So it goes, um, I feel so unsure. As I take your hand and lead you to the dance floor. Okay. So see there by uh, our see their careless whisper. So um, the person that loves you is trying to to uh, hide their insecurities with money. This person wants you to see them as rich, abundant, someone that can support you. They might want to buy you a necklace. Okay. They might want to buy you a piece of jewelry. I'm heavily feeling they have a present for you. Okay. But they want to control. They want to be in control. They want this to go how they want it to go. I feel like you guys might, um, you might scry. You might be witches. You might scry with a mirror. Okay, you might scry in the water, you might read tea leaves or palms, um, you might do spells, candle magic, um, definitely a very, or they feel you're a witch. You're open about your gifts. You are very gifted, okay, and they know that. It's like they feel like that you can read them. There's a lot of green here, like I said, a lot of heart-based activity, a lot of hot, heart chakra activity going on here. I feel like they are having dreams about you. Okay, but they're being stubborn. They're being stubborn because they they you don't have money. They don't have they don't you don't have money. You don't have money and they do. And they don't want to be used for money. I feel like in the past they've been used for money. Okay, they've taken people out, spent lots of money on them, bought them jewelry, bought them bags, bought them stuff and it's like this person just kept expecting them to support them. They might be, um, they might have an ex, like an ex-wife um, or an ex-lover that took advantage of them, okay? Took advantage of their kindness because this is a very kind person. This is a very loving person, kind person, gentle person, okay? Um, 
this is a manifester. This person is a manifester. Okay. They're a magician and alchemist, but they don't, they don't know that they don't know. They manifest things and they, um, they don't realize what they're doing. Okay. It's, it's like a subconscious thing. Okay, and they are not ready to accept you as a partner because they don't feel like you match them in the money department. Okay, you don't match them in the money department. And they don't want to be um, used. They don't want to be taken advantage of. They don't want to um, buy things for you and then have you be ungrateful for them. They don't want you to treat them like their past partners have treated them. Not that I'm saying that you did or ever would. But see, Ten of Cups, you make them happy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You make them so happy. They want to they want to sing. Okay, they want to sing when they're with you. You have the fountain and the empress. So, uh any any sign and then uh Taurus Virgo coming through. Okay, this person might might um not have trouble sleeping. This person might have trouble sleeping, okay, in their home. Because I feel like like I said they're they're a spiritual person. They're a manifester. They might um, have dreams about you and they don't want to. So they stay awake. They keep themselves awake. They might also have codependency issues. Like, um, I'm, I'm seeing like cocaine. They might like uppers, um, steroids, cocaine, Percocets, anything that will keep them awake. Cause they're a very hard worker. Like I said, they have a lot of money. I feel like they're in a very high position at work and they need a, and, and they're there for long periods of time and they need energy to stay awake because they stay up all night. Okay. Um, they love music. I'm seeing them on a computer. Okay. Um, they're on a computer, like playing with music or playing with videos. Maybe they're like a, um, maybe they're like a director, you know, um, like they direct music videos or movies, or maybe they're like a sports announcer, or they might even work in finance. Um, but their passion is, is like music, something to do with music. Um, they do carry a very um, sexual energy towards you, okay? Um, but they see you as someone who's very free, someone very independent, um, almost gypsy-like, like in your style of dress. Like you have a very um, unusual way of dressing maybe, or maybe you wear your hair differently, but there's just something different about you that draws them to you. But they are completely in love with you, <clears throat> but they don't want to be taken advantage of in the money department. So once you prove to them that you're not a money hungry, greedy, gold digging bitch, they're going to like love you forever and want to marry you. Let's get some <clears throat> messages from them. That's way too many that fell out. That's way too many that fell out. Ugh, come on. Shit. That was way too many. And they're all on the floor. Son of a bitch. All right. Okay. They just like have so much to fucking say to you. It's ridiculous. Come on, guys, not so many, okay? Not so many this time. Now they don't want to talk at all. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> they don't want to put in any work. Like I said before, they've been taken advantage of in the past, okay? Music reminds me of you. What did I say? You give me butterflies. There's more green. Like I said, more green. We are too different. I'm scared to open up. I don't know how to express myself. I was selfish. Well, there you have it. All right, guys, if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. All righty. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, if you chose this one, 
this person's a smooth talker. The person that's in love with you is a smooth talker. Okay. Um, and they're very protective of themselves. So they, they talk a lot of, um, they talk themselves up a lot. They hype themselves up a lot. Um, they use words to get what they want. They're very, very, very good at manipulating situations. And then when things try and come back to them, they manipulate them in a, in a way that makes them look like the good guy. Very manipulative energy coming through right here. Whoever's in love with you is very manipulative. Okay. Very, very manipulative. As always, this is a general reading. May or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. We have release. Trilogy of light. Guilt in reverse. The queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The six of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Elevation, you are making the connect the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Strengthening bonds. You guys might see 111 a lot or 333. You have the five of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the star, Aquarius, Libra, Sagittarius. The last pile got the star. Sarah Devi, Sarah da Sarah da Devi, the divine mother. Unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. Follow the white rabbit. The ten of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The queen of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The high priestess, Cancer, Virgo, uh, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio. King of the Darkwood Elves, Authority, Celebrity, and Status. Songs are speaking to me. I got spooked. This person likes sex. This person likes sex. This person likes to be a badass. This person wants to be famous. This person is a badass. They might like to dress in black. They might wear black nail polish. They might be bisexual, homosexual. Uh, this is like my my uh, transgender, homosexual, bisexual, LBGTQ plus group. Okay. Um, but this person feels an, an enormous amount of shame of being attracted to the same sex. Okay. You're either the same sex as them um, or like you're the opposite sex but they feel like the same sex they might be gender fluid you ran away from this person i have a song in my head for you it's blue on black by five finger death punch it's like um Yeah, blue on black, tears on a river, push on a shove, it don't mean much. Joker on Jack, match on a fire, cold on ice, a dead man's touch. A whisper or a scream, it never changed a thing. Don't you bring you back. It's like blue on black. That's interesting because there is a lot of blue and black here. So this person, they're, they might like the color blue and the color black, okay? This person feels lightning when they're with you. Um, I'm seeing, like, when they look in your eyes, they see lightning. Like, they can't manipulate you. This person cannot manipulate you. That's why they got spooked. You see right through them. Look. You see right through them. And you ran. Whatever you saw in this person, you did not like. You don't like this person. This person scares you. And you scare this person. There's like an immense amount of fear here. Fear, fear, fear. That's all I hear is fear. Like you have this bond with one another, but it's it's like a scary one. It scares you both. You're both scared to love. You're both scared to love one another. Whoever's in love with you is scared of being in love. And you're scared of being, you're both runners. You're both runners. 
you're you're both I see you both crying. I see you both being depressed. You're both sad. This is a very mirroring thing. You both feel hopeless, hopeless. I'm hearing hopeless, hopeless. This will never work. I'm hopeless. Okay. Um, this person might be a singer or a songwriter. They might have a very un, um, unusual musical taste. Maybe they might like different music than you. You might like different music. Um, but when they hear a specific song, they think of you. When they hear a specific song, they think of you. Um, it's it, it, They hear it everywhere. The song haunts them. It haunts them. Like they hear it everywhere. It's... Um, It's just, it's, yeah, they, they just, they hear, they hear so, a song, they're getting signs and synchronicities that they're, that they're, they, they're supposed to elevate, get out of their depressive. I don't, you know what? I don't think you're sad. You saw right through this person. You're feeling this person. This person is putting their energy into you. This person, I feel like has something of yours. Like, this is my same thing that I keep saying. This person has something. This is my pile of people who have something of the other person and are putting their energy into yours. You're feeling rage. You're feeling sadness. You're missing this person. You're crying, but you don't really miss this person. You don't miss this person. You were, you were moving on and this person felt you move on, felt you pulling away and brought you right back. They might even be doing spell work with whatever they have of yours to get you to stay attached to them. They want you to be attached to them. They like your energy. They love your light. They love the feeling of being around you. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to lose you. Yeah, judgment. They do not want to lose you. They do not want to lose this connection, but they don't. They're scared of it. They're terrified of it. They're terrified of it. They don't want to heal. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They don't want to heal. They don't like the light. They don't like light being shined on, on them. They don't want people to see them. They want people to see them as a badass. They don't want to be seen as weak in love. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're a player. They're a player. I have a song in my head for you, too. Um, I'll Take Your Man by City Girls. Let me tell you about this hater from around my hood. Kept trying to bitch like my pussy ain't good. They're a player. They don't, they, and the reason they're a player is because they're scared of love. They're scared of opening up. They're scared of being seen as weak. They don't want to give anybody control over them. They do not want people to have control. They want to run away. Like I said, they are very good at balancing out. They're very good at, at fooling people to think that they're a player. They might have affairs with people just to prove that they can't. Yep. They like to break up relationships. They like to be sneaky and break up relationships and then dip. This is someone that wants to hurt other people before they can hurt them. Very narcissistic energy, okay? I feel like they were with somebody else, but they're leaving. They're leaving this person that they're with. They're with somebody else, but they're leaving this person for you. They woke up. This person woke up. They woke up and they want to actually, they're not scared anymore. They're not scared anymore. I'm hearing they're not scared anymore. They're not scared anymore. And they want you back. But they want you back in the way they want you to come back to them. You've released this person, like I said, but you chased them and then ran. It's like you were like, I love you. I love you. I love you. And they were a player and they were not paying attention to you. And so you're like, fine, I love you, but I can't do this anymore. It's hurting me. And you ran. I'm angry. Like I said, very narcissistic. I miss us. Either way, I lose. I'm coming. You're mine. You are my wish. unblock me. This person wants to send you a message. So if you've blocked them and want to hear from them, unblock them and they will message you because they miss you and they're ready. All right. If you even want to take this person back after all the shit they did to you, because I feel like they put you through hell. But that's who's in love with you. 
All right. If that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. Love and light, guys. All right. If you chose this one, this person's fake. This person's fake. This person's in trouble. This person's in trouble. They stole something. This is a thief. They stole something from somebody. They're a thief and they're in trouble. They're gonna get caught. This person's gonna get caught for whatever they stole. Ooh. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't re resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. All right, we have self-love, but it was in reverse. Self-love in reverse. Announcement. Six of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Strength could be dealing with the Leo. Satisfaction in reverse. Let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that what others think no longer defines who you are. Success and growth in reverse. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The Hermit. Green Tara, the Buddha of enlightened action. My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. The King of Wands again, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. The Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Meditation. The merciful one, compassion, release, and relief. I know it might be too late by the time I figure things out. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Yep, this person's in trouble. This person's in some sort of legal trouble. The person that's in love with you could be in prison, could be going to prison. They stole something from somebody Thievery. I'm hearing thievery, thievery, thievery to, to, to uh, feed a habit. They might have even stolen from you. They might have even stolen from you, but whatever they stole from you, they, they did it to feed an unhealthy codependent issue that they had. I really don't like this energy, guys. They might have even mugged somebody. They might have beat the shit out of somebody, mugged somebody. They did something, stole something from somebody, beat somebody up. I'm seeing like kicking someone when they're on the ground, running away in a black, black, black hoodie. They might wear a black hoodie a lot, or they might like to dress warmly because they're always cold. This is a cold person. They do love you, though, almost in an obsessive way because you... Okay, um, song number three by um, Stone Sour. No one else has ever loved me. No one else has ever tried. You loved this person even though they were bad. Even though they were dark. Even You knew. You knew this person was a thief, you knew this person was a drug addict, you knew this person was bad news, and you you saw the very best in them. You saw who they could be. You tried to encourage them to stop their behavior, to stop their codependent issues, to realize their self-worth, and they did not. And so you walked away. You, you did some sort of meditation. You cut the cord with this person. And when you cut the cord with this person, they no longer had your mercy. They no longer had God's mercy. Karma came back and whipped them. They might have gotten beat up in prison. They're going to jail. They have some sort of legal issue that they're going to be dealing with. They might lose their children. They might lose their home. They're going to lose their partner. They're going to lose everything. The person that's in love with you is going to lose everything. And it's going to be their own fault because they don't, they were self-serving and they stole from the innocent and they're going to be punished. You loved this person anyway. 
and you were the only reason that they were not getting hurt. You were praying for them. You were protecting them. You might have been doing protection spells on them, um, keeping them safe. Uh, you just love this person so much that you just wanted them safe. You're begging them to stop doing what they're doing, stop doing drugs, stop stealing, stop. You knew what they were doing. You knew they were, they were dark and bad, but you loved them anyway, and you knew that they could be a good person. You saw their light. Six of Swords, Aries, Aries, Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, but you, you, you walked away. You took your light back. You have the Two of Cups and Strength. This person sees you as a soulmate, their true love, their one true love. You're their one true love. They, they belong to you. They're now yours. They're yours forever. They're trapped with you forever. Page of Pentacles in reverse, remembering how they treated you, not offering you anything. They feel a soul connection to you. They think that you're destined. Three of Pentacles, they want to build with you. They want to um, balance things out, but they can't. They have no way to get to you because they're either in jail or going to jail. The Three of Wands, they worked very hard to cover up their crime. They didn't, they, they were working very hard to cover up their crime, but they were found out with the Five of Wands, Aries, Leader, Sagittarius. They were found out. They, they were found out. Star in reverse. They lost all their money. They lost the love of the, they lost you. They lost the queen of cups because they had an addiction. They had codependency issues. They were not a spiritual person. They were not awake. They were not aware. They were not talking to you. They were evil. I'm hearing evil. They were just dark and evil. They were not your vibrational match. And yet you loved them anyway. You loved them anyway. Ace of swords. They're paying for, for their crimes. They're paying. They're paying their karmic debts. The fool. And you're dancing away. Happy as a fucking clam. You're happy now. You're happy. You're happy. You're independent. You're not with this person. You don't want to be with this person. You realize they're a shit person. You don't want them anymore. Because they're just trouble. And you cut the cord and they felt it. And now they're not protected by you anymore. They're not protected by your light. You're like an angelic. Very, I'm feeling a very angelic feel. You want to save people, but you couldn't save this person. You realized you could not save this person. And so you, you detached yourself from them. I wish for you. They, they feel you. They miss that. They miss the protection you used to give them. I can't reach you. They can't reach you. You lied to me in reverse. So they know they lied to you. I can't you look, look you in the eyes. I'm scared of what I'll see. You are my past. I feel ashamed of myself. Let me go. It came out in reverse. Let me go. They don't want you to let go. I'm proud to have known you. You scare me. You're beautiful and go away. They're going away. They're going away. And they love you. And they're not going to see you anymore because they know they're going away. Oof. Ooh, guys. Ooh. Okay, so I have a song in my head for you. Wilson Phillips. <laughs> don't you know? Don't you know? Things will change. Things will go your way. If you hold on for one more day, hold on for one more day, things will go your way. Hold on for one more day. So you guys took off. You finally turned your back on this person and now they're feeling the repercussions of the karma that you were holding back. You were holding back this person's karma. And now that you're gone, they don't have your protection anymore, but they still love you. All right, guys, if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. Love and light.